Before we enter this relics park, please allow me to introduce some details. The Longying Lake in front of me has a distance of about 168 meters to the gate of the park. The 168 meters represent 168 years of history of Haihun. It also represents the years taken by Liu He to rise from a civilian to a top leader in ancient China. Now, Nanchang Relics Park of Haihun Principality is the most complete and best preserved relics park of its kind in China. Today, we're going to pay visit into this park to experience the life and stories of Liu He. And we will also see the culture in the Western Han Dynasty. We are about to enter the door. This relics park has been built for four years' time. It's been constructed within a short period of time. Haihun Principality belongs to Han Dynasty. And according to the customs in Han Dynasty, people usually walk from the right side because the right direction represents a noble direction. And also because of the epidemic, we have to have our body temperature checked before entering into the park. It's still on a trial opening phase, so all the visitors have to buy tickets. We might have a little bit of delay. All visitors can book the ticket online, and eight types of visitors are eligible for free tickets. This is a sculpture of Liu He with a height of 3.3 meters. And the profile has been fixed according to the records of the history about Liu He. And you can see that uh, on the wall, there is a big picture. It is a magnificent picture with different angles of view. It has the magnificent palace in the Han Dynasty with the pictures of the newly built cities and the harvesting season. So with this, we can have a bit of a taste about the magnificence of the Han Dynasty culture. Today, we are quite lucky to have invited the director of the Relics Storage Division, Madame Wang. Good afternoon, Madame Wang. Today, we are lucky to follow your guide to understand the relics and the culture of Haihun Principality. Could you give us a brief introduction about the route? There are three exhibitions. One is the Golden Haihun. The others are the Literacy of Haihun. And also, we have another interaction section about interacting with Haihun. According to my knowledge, the Golden Haihun has a collection, has the largest collection of the relics. It collects 
1,200 such artifacts. The majority of those relics have never been publicized before. Just like the Palace Museum, many relics have been just uh, exhibited for the first time. Now, this is the exhibition hall in the first floor. And this is the first part of the exhibition. There are three parts, including Yu Zhang Hai Hun, Wang Hou Wei Yi, and Lo Fu. Now, this is about Yu Zhang Hai Hun. This is a bronze light, a bronze lamp. This lamp is the first lamp discovered in the Han Dynasty with Nan Chang characters imprinted. Can you see clearly the two characters, Nan Chang? The reason you put this bronze lamp in this place embodies the importance of it. I know that many artifacts on Earth are carved with the characters, but I heard that this is the first time that Nan Chang characters are imprinted on such an artifact. In Jiangxi province, this is the first one to be discovered with the two characters. But before this, in Hunan province, they have unearthed another artifact with Nan Chang characters imprinted. I believe all of the collections in this hall has some significance. In Yu Zhang Hai Hun, there are three sections. This is Han Yu Zhang Jun. It reflects the governance system about different principalities existing in parallel with each other. It uh, has been exhibited before. And we have another collection just like it. As you see, there are inscriptions on this lamp. This is the stamp of Liu He. I heard that you have unearthed four such seals by Liu He. Yes, one of the seals has no character. We have discovered about four such seals in total by Liu He. The four seals represent the status of Liu He. What does these seals represent? Those seals are usually carried by Liu He personally. It is a representation of his status and title. Previously, when we first unearthed this seal, we didn't know who was the owner. But when we see the character, we know that it's owned by Liu He. And also, by judging from this seal, we can further conclude about uh, whose symmetry this is. It is well made. It's very big. Hai is the first character of Hai Hun. The Hai character has been a good representation about Hai Hun history. When we first excavated this seal, we see that uh, it's kind of damaged, but we still put it here for exhibition. This character of Hai has become almost the logo of our principality. This is the evolution of Poyang Lake. According to the water levels, the Hai Hun principality also evolved along with the lake. This is the scent box. So we are not just presenting the relics, but more importantly, 
the exhibition of Han Dynasty culture and history. It's not just about the collections. It's more about the history of Han Dynasty. The artifacts shock us with those knowledge. The initial mission of holding this exhibition is to present the history through those collections. The cultural and historical phenomenon of Han Dynasty will be felt through those artifacts. And we would be impressed by Han culture. I've been here several times. So, Director Wang, could you please inform us about the contents of this cabinet as a professional? What's the intention of this cabinet? When we excavated this artifact, there are four layers. On top of the layer, we could see some of the jades. This one has been swallowed by the mouth. In ancient times, as we know, when those dead people were buried in the cemetery, they will take some jades with them so as to dispel the evil spirits. In the second layer, that is where Liu He's body was stored. In the third layer, it's really seen to see the colored glaze for archaeology. The colored glaze in this third layer is also a rare phenomenon. In the fourth layer, that's golden collections. According to the burial system in Han Dynasty, there will be some golden artifacts put together with the dead bodies. Usually the golden artifacts will be kept in between the dead body and the coffin. Through the four layers in the cabinet, we can feel in person that the owner of this coffin has a high status according to the arrangement of those artifacts. And we can also have an idea about uh, the system of burial in Han Dynasty. In Han Dynasty, there are some special customs and religions, and through the cemetery and the burial traditions, we can feel some of those uh, special rituals and religions. Those are all the lamps. This lamp was belong belonging to Li Jijia, who was the son of the emperor, Li Jijia has a history about his relation with the royal family, born and given birth by Madame Li. The story of Li Jijia used to be a mystery, but with such a lamp discovered, we can to some extent prove the story. There are several generations of Hai Hun principality. Some are unearthed from Liu He Cemetery, some are from the other cemeteries. This artifact is also on its premier exhibition. It's like a bronze toy. It's cute. It's a bronze tiger, a pig, and a camel. 
there is another sheep. It's still being restored, so it's not put on the exhibition yet. They were, uh, they were part of our first choices when we were planning about this exhibition. They are just like toys. For example, in the neck of the tiger, there is a ring. That ring used to be used for dragging the tiger with the rope. We have to pay our tribute to the wisdom of the ancient Chinese. They could exhibit and bring life those animals very vividly. Those are the utilities used on a daily basis by Liu He. Those are the swords. So many swords have been already restored and repaired for this exhibition. Is this golden? Yes. Since those artifacts belong to the son of Liu He, is there any difference in the size of those artifacts from Liu He's? Of course, we have different sizes. This is the smallest size. It's the gold artifacts made in the shape of a horseshoe. Our viewers must be looking forward to see the jewelry unearthed in those tombs. For example, the jades or the golden artifacts. And now we will move on to the second floor. Western Han Dynasty is home to a lot of uh, gold and Haihu Principality used to be wealthy in the tomb of Haihu Principality. 485 gold artifacts have been unearthed with a total weight. Please correct me if I am wrong. Since I've been doing my homework in those days about those numbers, the total weight is about 115 kilograms. Yes, that's just a rough number. The final number has not been calculated yet. So in the archaeology of Han Dynasty, this number is quite something. There are about 385 gold in the shape of a horseshoe. And this afternoon, we are seeing a lot of visitors. Those are the first batch of visitors. They book the ticket online. The second floor is exhibiting the treasures in the tombs. Those are artifacts and relics unearthed from the tomb. As we can see, there are several horse carriages. And four relics are in those carriage tomb. In southern part of China, Liu He's tomb is one of the only tombs with the horses and carriages buried together with his body. So those are about uh, the facilities in the carriages. 
and there are different materials. Some are in silver, some are gold and iron, some are gilded. Those are gold and silver devices in the horse carriage. They are very delicate. Of course, we have uh, took a lot of efforts to repair them. They are gilded with gold. It's just one technique. As you could see from the pattern, they have different layers. And they have different uh, categories on the engravings. For example, the phoenix belongs to the first category, and then there are two dragons. And we can also see a white tiger. And then we can see a bird. Is this a very high level technique in Han Dynasty? Yes, it's very difficult to make them. And we can see clearly from this one. There are two different colors, white and gold. They are mixed together. Yes, the white and the gold colors are entwined. Now let's move this way. In 2015, the archaeological efforts have uh, given us some inspiration about this tomb. When I first visited the tomb of Liu He, I was shocked. It's about 400 square meters in area. The tomb takes up 64 square meters. And in the surroundings, there are different uh, warehouses in four directions. Some are for storaging the daily utilities, some are for the in musical instruments, some are for grains. They're quite uh, private. For example, in northern part of the tomb, the most private uh, devices are kept there. In the eastern part, usually he stored the daily necessities. And in the west part of the tomb, he kept the weapons like swords. We could basically judge the habits of those ancient Chinese in Han Dynasty based on the arrangement of different objects in the different directions of the tomb. And those are the chimes. Those two are restoration of the ancient scenario. This is a feast in Han Dynasty. It's a scenario of Liu He's life. From those two scenarios, we could see some of the cooking devices, the musical instrument, the layout of the kitchen. For example, when the staff were preparing for the meal, you could see how the meal is made. And this is a scenario about the feast itself. For example, the carpets. Zhen is placed right beside it. And we also have some lamps placed beside the table. It could be used for two purposes. They can be carried away. They also can be put on the carpet. 
个两套钟，一个是边扭钟，一个是那个边咏钟。On the opposite side. 它悬挂起来。Those are the two sets of chimes. This is the first time for us to hand those chimes up. We restored those scenarios. I believe that our viewers must be eager to see the exhibition called Jin Yu Hai Tang. We are wondering that since Hai Hun has unearthed a lot of gold and silver and jewelry, and、uh, what about the details? I have to say that gold and silver and those jewelries alike are just one part of、uh, archaeology. And since Han Dynasty was home to a lot of gold and wealth, we do want to put our emphasis on this exhibition about gold and jewelry. As you said, there are a lot of treasures in Han Dynasty, and from this exhibition hall, we can clearly come to that direction,、uh, come to that conclusion. 就是转那个移交过来的那个金币。Those are the gold in the shape of horseshoes. Even the gold coins are now presented. 对，现在专家还在进行研究，就是没有一个具体的说法。And on the horseshoe, they are printed some characters called 上中下 The experts are still studying the meaning, and we could see they have different shapes. 对对。Some are engraved. Some. Are just a stick to there. We have to study further about the meaning. I know that、uh, those golden artifacts have a high content of gold, almost up to 99 percent. According to Professor Jiang, that's going to be another topic of study about、uh, the. Metallurgical skills in Han Dynasty. We need further researches about it. In Han Dynasty, to get such high content of gold in those artifacts is really a rare thing because they had no machines. They solely rely on the artificial work. As we see, there is a collection of 300 gold coins. One of the gold coin is called Mo Shu. It's on its premier exhibition as well because of the stories behind it. What is Mo Shu gold coin? That's it. If you zoom in, you can see that、uh, there are some characters written with the ink. For example, it reads Nan Fan Hai Hun Hou Liu He. 元康二年易经 ，Which coin are you referring to？ 这个当时就是对，因为现在因为这个时间出来之后不是太久，它出土之后，它这个已经没收了嘛。Since this gold coin has been unearthed. A long time ago, and those ink has disappeared. Actually, we are now trying our best to repair it. We could still see some prints, and there is another meaning about Zhou Jin. In the reigning time of Han Wu Emperor. They have a system of Zhou Qin. According to the requirement, Liu He will have to Zhou Qin to the royal family. That is to pay those gold to the royal family. I see two characters. Named Yuan Kang. I do admire our ancestors, and also I think our archaeologists are really some someone. They could、uh, honor such valuable artifacts and restore the details on those artifacts, like those ink characters. Such a study is really of great significance because on those gold coins, 
they have left behind some clues about the year. And we can have further studies about the customs and the rituals of paying the gold to the royal family. I have a question. I know that every such gold coin is precious. If by the measurement of uh, this era, what is going to be the price of each gold coin? We have weighed the gold coins. They are about half g in weight. So calculated by 400 RMB per gram, one such gold coin will cost 100,000 RMB. What about the production of gold in Western Han Dynasty? The production volume was not very big, so you could imagine how impressive to see so many gold in one tomb. Those are the coins we excavated when we were in the field. We could see they are stringed together. It's about 1,000 pennies in one such string. So the tradition of uh, putting 1,000 pennies together in one string runs from Han Dynasty till Song Dynasty. Feng Li Xia is another precious artifact. They are discovered together with the copper coins. We could see in every such string of the copper coins, there are muds stained on the coins. And we can see characters like Qian Wu Qian. On Feng Ling Xia. Usually below one Feng Ling Xia, it is about 5,000 pennies. And there are five strings with one string hanging 1,000 pennies. And also there are some seals stamped on Feng Ling Xia for us to judge which era does it belong to. So we could read the history from even the mud and the stones. There are truly a lot of knowledge for us to learn from. Now let's move this way. We see that there are a lot of bronze objects here. They are very delicate. Yes, this is also the first time for us to exhibit those bronze artifacts. For example, this one. It has been just transported from the Palace Museum. It looks like a bronze artifact, but inside we could see some painting. What's the function of this object? It's for daily usage. And is it in the pattern of a dragon? Yes, on top it's a dragon, and on the bottom it's a phoenix. You could see the two big eyes of the dragon. According to the historical record, Liu He had some scandalous stories. It seemed like uh, Liu He has done over 1,000 bad deeds. Uh, and according to the archaeologists, with those objects, we can prove that he is not that evil as has been recorded. This is the profile of Confucius. This is one of the earliest 
relics to have a profile of Confucius. Those are the students of Confucius. This is a cabinet. As you see, there are already some hasps. It's an advanced technique in Han Dynasty. Confucianism was championed, and Liu He really respect Confucianism. According to the historical records, he was extravagant and brutal, but now with those artifacts on earth, we could see the other side of this person. And this is about another exhibition of Hai Hun about the literacy and the painting. In the literacy of Hai Hun, we are going to present the bamboo sticks in Liu He's time. We have organized all of those on earth bamboo sticks together. And another part of this exhibition is about the painted wood stuff. We have a large amount of those wood stuff, but in the interest of time, we are only going to broadcast some part of uh, this exhibition. So, Madame Wang, could you please introduce to us the highlights? According to archaeologists, the gold and silver are truly precious, but the bamboo sticks can carry with them the true history. That's why the bamboo sticks value more to archaeologists. For example, some of the bamboo sticks are in-carved with some part of the analects by Confucius. It's called the chapter of Zhizao. I heard that it's not restored and exhibited yet. Yes, the bamboo sticks are not in a good condition for exhibition. So in this exhibition, or about the literacy of Hai Hun, we're only going to see some uh, brief introduction. Are the bamboo sticks genuine? Some of them are genuine. And we are not in a good shape to exhibit the bamboo sticks right now. They are still under restoration. For example, on this wall, we have scanned the real bamboo sticks. Is it because of uh, high requirement about humidity and temperature? Yes. After being unearthed, the bamboo sticks must be well protected. Just like the lacquer wood, the bamboo sticks take a long time for such protection, so they are not exhibited right now. We interviewed the Cultural Relics Bureau. Many experts were using very small brushes to clean those bamboo sticks in the water. Those are replicated sticks. We present them in this order so that our visitors can have some brief idea about how those bamboo sticks look like. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's have a look at the contents on the bamboo sticks. In many cabinets, this has been seen in many cabinets. Is that about the temperature examination? Yes, we are taking records about the humidity and the temperature. For example, just now in that exhibition hall, the humidity is about 40 percent, but now it's about 70 percent. So we have to adjust the humidity and other environmental indicators for different objects. Those bamboo sticks are replicated ones, yes. We copy the original shape and characters. There are different categories of the bamboo sticks. For example, they have some uh, records of uh, the medicine or the analects, the wars, and the chessboard. When the bamboo sticks were unearthed, are they really in this size, like the lens and the breadth? Those bamboo sticks may not be the real size in Han Dynasty. Some are longer, some are shorter. They're not the same. But usually in one row, all of those bamboo sticks will be in the same size. Yes, there are different contents in those bamboo sticks. Some are about history, some are about the chessboards. As you could see, there are different ancient classics like Xiao Jing. We have uh, unearthed 5,200 bamboo sticks in total. How many have already been stored? For the 5,200, they have been separated in different classifications. And we need further studies about those bamboo sticks after they have been protected. We are going to present them in a proper form and environment to all the viewers. I see. Thank you, Madam Wang, for your comprehensive knowledge. Even though we have a limited time, but I do learn a lot from you. It seems like the history of Han Dynasty thousands of years ago are still with us. So this is about the end of this live show, about uh, the relics park of Haifeng Principality. And we still have a lot more to learn. We still have some questions yet to be answered. For example, what is the look inside the tomb of Liu He? We need other visits. So we welcome our viewers to pay visit to this relics park. Then you will have first-hand experience about the history of Hai Huan Principality, representative of the culture in Han Dynasty 2,000 years ago. You will better feel the tradition of the Chinese civilization. That's the end of this show. Thank you.